Hey guys, I couldn't leave that last video like that. It just wasn't quite long enough. They only allow me 10 minutes, so. <clears throat> uh, went back to Obamacare and everything. Uh, if you didn't watch the first part, watch it. Uh, so I don't have to double up on it right now, but uh, it's nothing but bad for everybody. And to some people it doesn't make any difference but some of those people are supporting it and there's absolutely no reason to support it because it's only bad for for uh, people who are working and people that aren't and are getting free medical and everything it doesn't change anything for them you're not going to get better benefit you're going to get worse benefits before it's over that's it's a it's a historical fact you can do a study and uh, and see other countries have had this is socialized medicine like I said in the first video but uh, nobody likes it and uh, because quality of medicine goes down and uh, doctors are out of it because uh, there's other things they can do uh, and make better and more money at it. Uh, for those of you that still have it in your head that that uh, it might be okay or something, who are you listening to? Let's see, you're listening to these congressmen and senators and Obama and they're telling you how great it's going to be someday and all of that uh, and yet they're all exempt from it what do you think that's about why do you think they're exempt from from this fantastic program that they're trying to shove down everybody's throat it's just like uh, with the, the second amendment uh, you got Gloria Feinstein, Obama, all these people, all behind gun control is what they're calling it. It's gun confiscation. Again, go back in history, every Stalin, Hitler, every one of these people, is this is where it started with the health care and with gun, what they call gun control. Okay? They're going by the book with this thing. And, but going back to the gun issue, it's right in writing. It's, it's online. If you, if you go into YouTube, you can find a video where it shows, shows the law that they exempted themselves from any type of gun control. And Feinstein and all, all of their signatures are on it. So they think that's good for everybody else, but not us. And yet, these same people are funding and arming Al-Qaeda, who's supposed to be our enemy. This is the people that you're listening to that are telling you how good this program is going to be that they're trying to shove down your throat. So you need to think about it. And, and here's probably the most important thing I, I can tell you the program's bad but uh, well before I say this let me let me say one more thing about this the people that are working are the ones that are going to get pay through the nose for the insurance okay until they can't do it anymore or until they get laid off of their jobs or until they get their their wages, their hours cut to the point where then they don't have any insurance. And then whoopee, they get they get the free program like everybody else, which is part of what communism, socialism, that, that's, that's the way it works. They push you into these places where you have no options. Okay? But here's, here's one of the huge problems right now that, that tells you that this thing is destined to fail no matter what. Over over half the population right now. I, I'm sure some of you've seen the figures. 
over half the population right now, I think it's 64 percent, are on some type of disability, DSHS, something. They're collecting benefits. Okay? That means that less than half the population is working. And I, you can't even get into the figures of how many, how many people have had their jobs cut back since this Obama thing started. And how many people are actually closing, how many companies are closing down because of it. Okay? So, somewhere around 40%, 45% of the people are working, are funding over half the population's medical. How long is that going to work? It's not going to work very long because what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to keep raising where the money's at. It's a tax. Just think about it. It's just a tax, and it's a tax on the people who are doing all the work. It's not fair, and it's not going to work. It's doomed to fail, period. And it doesn't. It has no reasoning behind it. But getting back to what I wanted to try to finish here with you guys understanding is this. <clears throat> you have Obamacare, which over 60% over of the population doesn't want. And we're a republic. We're a democratic republic, okay? We rule. They don't rule. We rule. And we don't want it. And yet we're getting it anyway. Okay? The Second Amendment is being attacked right now. Some of you guys don't get it. All the statistics say that, that gun, gun control in any form doesn't have anything to do with violent crime. It's been proven in New York and Chicago that the, they actually lead the world in, in violent crime with guns. And they have total bans on guns. Okay? It's a lie. Again, a lie. Okay, now Gloria Feinstein uh, entered a bill into the House. And they're going to decide who's a journalist and who's not. That's a direct... It's illegal. It's treason. But they're going to define... Who, who has a right to get information and not have to divulge it and this type of thing. And the government is going to make that determination of who, who does that. When most of this crap is against them. Now how do you think that's going to work for starters? But it's illegal. Okay? And the Fourth Amendment, same thing. You guys, you guys need to wake up to the fact that that these people are attacking the Constitution. It doesn't matter what, how they put it, or how wonderful it may sound or anything. It's a direct attack on the Constitution. You can't allow that to happen. A lot of you out there, are Native American Indians, Hawaiians, Blacks, all you guys have histories. Of being under tyranny, under oppression. And what's happening right now is we're going into that. And you guys should be leading, you guys should be leading the fight. You should be fighting tooth and nail to stop this because this, as bad as it's been over our history, you know. It's been that Constitution that has kept it from getting really, really ugly. And there's a lot of things that, that we all need to work on, you know. But as people, we need to get together. And you guys, you guys that I just mentioned, you guys need to be leading this fight. You've been there. Maybe you haven't personally been there, but you have the history to know. And we're headed there. We're almost there now. Most of you don't understand that, but we're almost there. And I'm running out of time again, but I pretty much covered what I wanted to say this time. Bless you guys. Pray.
Talk to you later.